Listen to the new podcast. You all listening. You listening. You listening to Locked In with J Lock. Yeah. You listening. You listening to Locked In. Yeah. With J Lock. You listening to the podcast. You need to listen to. It's Locked In with J Lock. Yeah. Locked In with J Lock. Yeah. Best podcast around the block. Yeah. Alright. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Locked In with J Lock. We're on episode five. Finally, finally got somebody to do an interview with, and of course my first one's gonna be my best friend, my dog, Steve O. What's good? good Alright y'all. Man, this has been my road dog, hot mail, since what, the sixth grade? Sixth grade? Plus I we were what are you, eleven years old, so we we twenty-eight. I ain't good with numbers. Actually, I'm really good. 17 years. That's crazy. So, Nine years. yeah, we're getting old, dude. So, like, I'm kind of coming to the realization that we're going to be stepdads, dude. Like, we're going to have to take care of somebody else's kids. Sad facts. Bro. Either that or we're going to, like, be those old dudes that are, like, hollering at young girls. And that's just going to be super weird. Yeah, super. I'm, I'm, I'm way too, like, prideful that, to think about me doing that. So, I'm going to be somebody's stepdaddy. So, women... This is what you guys got to do. Like, when you meet me, tell me you got kids from the jump. Like, I couldn't imagine, like, going through the whole stage and getting to know somebody and then they're like, by the way, I got three fucking kids. Like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. that is, I don't know. See, my thing is, too, is, like, like I'm light-skinned to where it's kind of like, I feel like I could look like a lot of kids that. <laughs> like, for real. If you have a light skinned baby, like, oh, your son's cute. But like, he's just not my son. Or, like, I'm like, oh, yeah. Depends on how, like, if he's good at sports or if he's smart. But if he's, like, a badass, I'm like, I ain't my little badass little kid. But, you know, I fuck with him because I'm fucking short. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah, so, like, slowly kind of coming to that realization. But, like, I don't know. How would you feel, like, if you were, like, pro- say you're, like, two months into it and then it goes, bow. I got kids. Like, yeah. like, how long is it before it's like, bitch, why didn't she say it? <laughs> yeah, I think even after like just a couple weeks. If she, if she didn't. I think if we had a couple dates and we were really feeling each other, I think it'd be all right. But anything more than like a second date, and if it was like you guys were really thinking it was going to go somewhere, and then she wanted to spring on you after a couple weeks. But I don't know. I, I guess it's just really the situation. But. I guess. I'd say anything more than a couple of dates, anything more than like a week of talking to each other. Yeah, it's at two months and you're just not busting on me, I'm not. Yeah, like I'm more so like, I'm like, yo, what's good? My name's Jordan. Everybody call me J Lock. You gotta be like, oh, hey, my name is da 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 da. I got three kids. I'm like, alright, cool. <laughs> you tell me right then from the jump. I got to know because if I find out, you're like, bitch, what you lying for? Why are you hiding? Like, so. Man, I'm not gonna lie, but slowly coming to the fact that I'm gonna be a stepdaddy. But I don't know how to deal with kids, bro. Like, I'm good for like little 30 minute intervals. Like, kids love me, but then, like, after that, I'm like, yo, can you piss and shit yourself? Because if not, it's gonna be funky in this. <laughs> it's like, I, like, I'm the baby of my family. My brother doesn't have any kids. My sister doesn't have any kids. So it's like, I've never had to, like, babysit ever. To where I don't know how to change that thing. And that's the crazy thing, because I'm the oldest in my family. I got a young family. So I'm always babysitting or anything, but that's a nice thing about being an uncle. So you can give them back. And you just you can enjoy it. Yeah. You can enjoy oh, it. I would need it. <laughs> yeah, enjoy them for a little bit and then it's just like, alright, well, that's good because now you're trying to be bad and you can go back. Zodiac signs. Y'all bitches is crazy. So I can't stand Zodiac time. But you know, it kinda has its pros and cons. So like y'all gonna tell me that I act a certain way. Because of where the world was at, circling the sun, that I, I'm an active a certain way. So, like, y'all telling me, if I read a Cancer's Zodiac for the day, they say, okay, I'm stubborn. All right, cool. Then I'll read uh, Libra's for the day. They're hard-headed. Then I'll read uh, a Taurus's for the day, and they're like, they're bossy. Which, those are all synonymous at the end of the day. So, they're the same people. And then I'll continue reading and be like, oh, Cancer's going to be happy today. Uh, Libra's going to be joyful. And then fucking Taurus is going to be gleeful. Like, that's the same fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? She got, so, like, literally all of it's synonymous. So, like, I don't understand, like, why the fuck is, like, y'all make such a big deal. It's like you're describing the same person but using different words. Like, am I tripping for that or not? Man, I've never really been into it. 
or been into it. But it was crazy sometimes when they do be posting that stuff on Facebook and whatnot, and the girls be going off. And, oh, girls, Virgo season. Yeah. I don't really? like. Yeah, it's some of the stuff when they be posting it. It's like when you read through, it's like I do kind of. Yeah, yeah. Some of that does is suck real, but then at the same time, it's like, I'm just not into it. There yeah, you know. I'm not gonna lie. There's been one time where, like, I randomly checked it because, like, somebody sent me it, and then, like, it was, like, a daily one, and I was like, oh, like, this shit exactly happened yeah. to me today. But it's like, there's no, like, constant, like, like daily horoscope that's like, this is the actual for real hor 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 blah, 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 blah. Horror, hor, how horoscope? Is that a horoscope? Horoscope. We're gonna get that together. No. There's no like for real horoscope. So it's like I could read 20 different horoscopes and they're gonna tell me about 20 different, different days. So eventually, like it's gonna be right one day. But like I do, I do feel like the moon definitely affects humans though. That's the one thing I feel like because if the moon affects the tide yeah, of like the so ocean and shit yeah. like that, then like I feel like it does affect me in some ways. Like, I'm, I can't do exactly, but, like, I'm not... That's science, though. Horoscopes is not science. You know, you ain't gonna tell me I'll be happy because I was born in June. And probably my biggest beef with, with fucking zodiac signs, because every time, like, like, I'm talking to a girl, and they're like, well, what sign are you? And I'm like, I'm a cancer. They always say, oh, so you're emotional. You be in your feelings. I'm like, bitch, yeah, I do. <laughs> the fuck you talking about? Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, well, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're like, I can't be in my feelings. But, yeah. no, they always try to make it seem like I'm a punk because I was born in June. Nah, bitch. What? What? You were just a bitch. What's yours? You're a Taurus. Yeah, you're a bitch. Like, what if I said that, man? So that's my little thing about zodiac signs. I'm gonna get a. Uh, I'm gonna get a professional on here. I'm gonna fire that ass up. I'm really gonna groom them. Cause right now I, we have too much agreeing going on right now. So yeah. it's like, so we can't really go back and forth. But once I every every episode we do, you know, I gotta do the top five, top five, top five. All right. So what we're gonna do today? We're ranking just the five. Flavors in the red Skittles bag. All right, so you know the red original. You got the great orange, green apple. Now the green one used to be lime. It's green apple, um, strawberry, and lemon. All right, so we're gonna back and forth the whole time. I'm not gonna name off all mine. So the number five worst Skittle of all time in the red one, and I hope it's the same for you. Great. All right, so. I don't know what it comes down to. Actually, grape is definitely at the bottom of my list. But it is definitely either lemon or grape. So, what are you going to do? You can't do all where it's the top five. All right. You got five. <laughs> so, grape, is, grape always reminds me of Coster. Like, that's it. That's sister. Yep. Yeah, so, I agree. No, I just, and I've always hated Coster. So, 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 five, I would say, so, so it's probably definitely great. So, great. Because I can't have two and I'm not going to go back and forth the whole time. So, definitely great. Are you going great? No, so he already said his number four yeah, is lemon. Good, yeah. All right. He's fucking crazy for that. My number four is the apple, the green one. Terrible. Like, if I get the whole thing, or like every time I pour, like, you know, six in my hand, like, you know what I'm saying? I eat the great ones and the apple, like, the great ones, I eat the worst ones first and said the best for last. So apple is fourth for me. Not gonna lie, I didn't know the green was apple. It's, it's apple now, it used to be lime. Okay, that's what I always thought it was. No, it's apple now. I gotta pay attention to your candies. We're gonna do top five yeah. candies pretty soon. Skittles is in my top five, but I'm not, yeah. not breaking that one yet. So, right. number three for me is gonna be, this one's tough. I'm gonna go with orange as number three. Yeah, three. Orange. So, so you got grape, lemon, orange, and I have grape, apple, orange. Number two for me is obviously lemon, and for you is what, apple? Because I know you're number one. <laughs> I know everybody's number one. I'm not a cherry fan. Really not a cherry fan. So, I would say probably number two is cherry. Because I probably haven't had Skittles in a long time. And I like apple. I like and apple flavored stuff. We know you haven't had Skittles because red is fucking strawberry. <laughs> you dip <Whoa>. fuck. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you said cherry. This is a starburst, nigga. <laughs> obviously, we know. Obviously, we know that I'm not a Skittles fan. I'm not a 
So, all right, so, so is it strawberry or apple? So I'm thinking I'm I'm a Starburst fan, obviously, because that's all. The but there's only four. Thing. There's only four. Okay, so so four for or two for your strawberry? No, 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 no. no. So it's apple. Apple. And number one is red. Yeah, the red's the best skill, honestly. Yes. And like sometimes what I like doing is getting the red and the yellow one. Sometimes make strawberry lemonade, crush them together. You feel me? It's our little game. You always learn a little stuff from Jay Luck. You feel me? Yeah. So for me, it's grape, apple, orange, lemon, strawberry. Steve-O, he has grape, lemon, orange, apple, strawberry. We matched what three of them or something? Yeah, three of them. So we're sixty percent compatible as best friends, I guess. Yeah, one of these days we might have to do that best friend test. We were just supposed to do that. Yeah, we're gonna do a best friend test. We're gonna come down. That's gonna be pretty funny. Um, Next thing we're doing, every interview that I have or every guest I have, I'm going to do a quick interview with him. I'm going to ask him the same questions every time. Steve is going to be the first person going through this guy. He had no time to prepare for this. He doesn't know any questions I'm asking. Oh, so any of the future guests that are going to come on, you're going to go through this every time. So this is going to be pretty funny. I'm bringing out the phone because I have it on the notes. This is going to be awesome. And we're, this is how we're going to judge them. We're going get, to get to know everybody. You know what I'm saying? And I'm bringing out my friends and my little friends, Trion, out to you guys. And you're going to get to know them because you know me a little bit better because you know y'all my people. I fucks with y'all. All right. These are the locked in with J-Lo questions interview. We're going to lock them in. All right. J-Lo, Kim Kardashian, Oprah. You got fuck one, marry one, kill one, go. Repeat the question. J-Lo, Kim K, Oprah. Okay. Fuck one, marry one, kill one, go. Okay. Uh, I'm only going to fuck Kim Kardashian. Just to see what it's like. Okay. Just to see what it's like. I'm going to marry J-Lo. And I'm going to kill Oprah. I'm sorry, Oprah. I'm sorry, Oprah. It's not, it's not, no, no, no hate or nothing, but that's just... It's, that's how it is. All right. So y'all go ahead and judge him for that. All right. Next question. Beyonce or Rihanna? What? Beyonce or Rihanna? Bro. Beyonce. Beyonce? That's not what I choose. I'm just like y'all know they're dead. All right. Would you rather be stranded in the water and you and you can see an island at from the very far away, or stranded in the Sahara Desert? I'm going back to the question, the, the last question, actually, because... Uh, Beyonce or Rihanna? Yeah, yeah, I feel like you kind of just put me on the spot too quick, and I just like... Bah, bah, bah. No! Like, are we under fire questions right now, or can I take a second and think about that real quick? Like, literally just to say, Rihanna, Beyonce. Bitch, better have my money! Yeah, and it's just like, I don't know, I've always been into the light skin. I mean, they're pretty much the same, both the same. peanut butterish skin tone. Can I have both? I mean, <laughs> it's not like I'm. It's an either or question. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Like Beyonce, I think Beyonce is more of a body type. Yeah. So you're going with Beyonce. Final answer. Yeah. Lock it in. Yeah, it's it's locked in. All right, locked in. He goes Beyonce. All right. Would you rather be stranded in the water and you could see some type of land? Like far away that way, or stranded in the middle of the Sahara Desert. And keep in mind that island could be a fucking just empty ass island. And there's no guy on it. All right. Or be in the Sahara Desert. And if when you're in the water, you can have a life jacket. In the desert, shorts and a shirt. You can have pants on if you want. Boots. You can have whatever like clothes. Like watch. clothes, necessity, and then no the water. Ocean, the ocean. I'm only. I'm in a life jacket, just floating. Yeah, you can have a wetsuit. No flippers though. How many days in a row? This first, like, this just happened, like, the incident just happened. Yeah, and okay. everything else sunk, like, you're okay. by yourself. Alright, I think I'm probably going to go, like, I can see the, the, the deal off in the distance. Am I all by myself? Yeah, you're all by yourself, but you can see some land, like, in the distance. Oh, this is a good question. But, like, you like you don't know, that's just a yeah. fucking random ass land. Exactly, you don't or, know if it's just random then, land. Or you're in the desert, and then you, you can't see shit, and you right. just gotta fucking walk a certain way and just hope. And then something might be there, you know, something yeah. might be over the next few sand dunes. Yeah, exactly. Or you can just, like, you see land, like, far off in the distance, but you don't know how many miles away it is, you don't know the But that's, is. yeah, that's the only land you see, so you're gonna try to go that way. I'm definitely going to try to go that way. So, the sharks are. 
sharks, fucking big ass waves, fucking everything piranhas. Wait, this is not enough shit. Still, I'm in the desert. Suck my ass off, bro. You're in the desert. Well, I fuck them scorpions. I'm hey, step on them. All by myself. Yep. Ocean. I see land. I can see. I can see the goal. So I'm going to try to get there. And in the desert, I come out there and I don't see nothing off the bat. Yeah, I'm gonna go ocean. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. That's crazy. I'm gonna try. I Couldn't am. be me. Couldn't be me. I'm in the desert for y'all. I that fucking farting is like. I still think farting is so fucking funny. Like, I don't know why people have shame in their game. Like, I, I'd be at work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd be at work. Don't you? I'm like, y'all better quit acting like y'all fart first out. Because I'd be at work and I hate, I'd be farting. My shit be funky sometimes. And then, like, every time I fart, I feel like one of my managers want to come by in my area. <laughs> they look at me crazy. I'd be like, yeah, I just farted. Oh, like, just you was <laughs> How long before you fart in front of a girl that you like cater to, like trying to holler? What? I don't care. I don't care. So like from the jump, like right when you meet him, like if you had to, you like... Eh, no, first day. <laughs> first day. No. All right. First day, no. So like what if like, all right, so I'm over at your house and y'all are chilling, like y'all been chilling like all day type shit. And y'all like, y'all well, like on the recliner? I guess I'm like, probably chilling in the set, like I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't care. But, yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> So I say, y'all watch the movie she ever seen, you're like, oh, like this, Apple Express. Okay. And it's, this is right on the jump, like two days in or something like that? This, this ain't two weeks in, but y'all been Oh, two house. weeks in? Yeah, two weeks. Nah, I might still be like, all right, honey. Uh, you get up and go to the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> or would you tell her, like, I got four? Two weeks in, I'd probably get up and go to the bathroom. See, I'm going to I'd say one month in, I'm going to probably go ahead and fart. Yeah, before. like, I mean... See what you gotta do as an icebreaker is like when you y'all are talking, you just gotta kinda gotta like joke about the shit, you know, every once in a while I'll be like or like make a little fart sound that I'm just kidding. But if I got to I'm going to let like, one go when you did it when you do No, for real though. Or like, you know, if she's around if she's around the crib or whatever, you might like fart in another room and see if she smell it, you like, yeah, they own up to it. But then, like, but that first one, though, no, I'm not gonna lie, you don't pause when you sweat, I'm like, she's gonna fire my ass. Oh, like, yeah. like, for real, I know that shit. Hey, what is it? Or, like, you, you gotta take a shit, you know, here, you be turning on a shower. I'm gonna take a shower. And <laughs> take a shit, man. That shit natural, man. Y'all just let it happen, man. This shit smell funny. This shit just be wild. Like, but, man, I'm not gonna lie, for the girls, Parts in front of me, I'm, I'm gonna cry laughing. I'll be like, you nasty as hell. Like, you know, that's it. Man, that's gonna be funny, man. Single as fuck. <laughs> that's probably why. But Turbo's chilling. He over here. He wanted to be on camera, guys, so I had to give him a little shine. He was like, yeah, I'm gonna do locked in with Jayla at the at the Couch Chronicles and the uh, I had to get locked in. And the rest of the recliners without your boy. This is his chair, low key. I'm over here taking his spot. As you guys can tell, but be sure you subscribe and like for me. Uh, tell a friend, tell a friend. What what you tell him, Steve? -O? Hey, tell a friend, tell a friend. Thank you, J Lock, for having me on today. It's Thank good. You. And uh, we locked in, we locked in, we locked in with J Lock. Listen to the hey. new podcast. You all listening? You listening? You listening to Locked In with J Lock? Yeah. You listening, you listening to Locked In, yeah. With J-Lock, you listening to the podcast you need to listen to. It's Locked In with J-Lock, yeah. Locked In with J-Lock, yeah. Best podcast around the block, yeah.